Okay, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration how to do a Pearson R in R Studio. So the first thing you need to do is set up your data file, and I would recommend using a um, editor like uh, Excel to create a CSV file. So here you can see we have a subject identification number, which each subject is going to have two scores. Uh, and so you can see the subjects listed there. We have an X variable, whatever that value is entered, and a Y variable, whatever that value is as well. So once you create that, you're gonna just go to File, Save As, and you're gonna save it as a comma delimited CSV file. So that's just a plain CSV comma delimited file. There's a couple different options in Excel. You wanna select this one to make sure that your data file imports into our studio properly. So we're gonna import this data. There's a couple different ways you can import this data. You can go to import data set here, or you can go up to the file menu, import data set, and we're gonna select that plain text based. We're gonna to navigate to where we saved the file, wherever you have your file saved. And here I'm selecting the Pearson R data file. We'll open it. Now this is gonna ask you for the data frame name. I always use simple names because you're gonna be using these in your commands. So simple name that you can keep it straight. Uh, if you have headers and such, you wanna take a look at these settings. I go over all of these details in a different video. Um, make sure strings as factors is checked. Click import and you're gonna have your data set here over here on the left uh, in our studio. So from here, it's just a simple matter of typing in the command to do the, so we type core test to do the Pearson R, and then we're gonna type the data frame name. So data one is the data frame name, dollar sign for the variable. Now we're gonna select our X variable, and then we're gonna do the same thing, data frame name, dollar sign, we're gonna select our Y variable. Uh, and then now we're gonna type method equals Pearson. So we get the Pearson R. You have a couple other switches here that you could look, but you could do a Spearman, you could do a Kendall. Uh, and then if you need to, if you have some missing data, like if you had missing data pairs, you could use this command. I don't in this data set, but you could have use complete observations for um, a command that will only use data where you have you know, both measurements for the X and the Y variable. So if we press enter here, we'll get our Pearson R. So the key here is degrees of freedom and your P value. This is in scientific notation, so you may have to look up how that works. And your correlation coefficient is down here. So that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video or thought it was helpful, please help me out by clicking like and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thanks for watching.